So you're thinking you want to see the newest comet that's out there on the block. This one in particular that we won't see for another 160,000 years. I'm going to show you how to figure out where it is because there can be a lot of media, there can be a lot of different news articles and things that you can look at, um, and especially with comets, because very often they are um, short-lived or they are unpredictable. People don't actually know what's going on. So you'll read a news article, but that news article is taking information from a variety of sources and is potentially not written by an astronomer. If we want to have the opportunity to see it, we need to know where it is. I like to use Stellarium. So Stellarium is a planetarium software you can download. It's for free. It is a bit of a resource hog on your computer, but it's a fantastic program. You can download it and use it to see where everything is in the night sky and with things like comets where we're discovering them. Um, in particular, we're looking at Comet um, Atlas. It is C slash 2024G3. It was discovered in April 2024, survived its perihelion on January 13th, 2025. And now people are imaging it. We're even having people being able to image it um, in the day. How long will that last? I don't know, don't ask me because I am not an astronomer. What I can do though is show you how you can find it in Stellarium so you can know based off of where you live, where to look and when. Um, what I will say, my Stellarium is set up to be um, for local to me. So I'm just outside of Hel Halifax, Nova Scotia on the east coast of Canada. So I already have all of that set up here. I do have another video on my channel that you can go see if you want to learn Stellarium a little bit more. So this is literally just going to be, this is how we get the comet in. We're going to go over to the configuration window, and this is basically where we go into all of our settings, and we're going to come to where it says plugins. With plugins, we will scroll down on the left hand side to where it says solar system editor. If we click on that, we are now going to configure it. So now in here, we will click on solar system. And then right down here at the bottom, import orbital elements in MPC format. You don't have to know what any of this means. Just click the buttons as I click them and you will, you'll get it. So the type is comet. And we are going to download a list of these objects. We don't need to know anything. The internet knows it for us. Thank you, internet. Uh, I always use this one. So MPC ORB uh, comets. And then I will click get orbital elements. Now at this point, they're the whole bunch here. Type it in. So do I have it copied? I have it copied. Uh, C forward slash 2024 space G3 atlas, but you don't need to do that. Then we just click the little the check mark and we click add objects. Now this now exists. Stellarium now knows about this comet. It is now um, within the uh, within the scope of what it can show you because it knows it exists. So now we go to the search window um, and we're going to go and search for it. So now I can see that it is below the horizon. <laughs> Why is everything black? Because it's below the horizon. Um, it is not a fantastic um, object to see in the northern hemisphere. So as I'm backing the time up right now, I'm, I'm just going back to sunset. It's basically very close to the sun right now. Um, so you can see, here it is. Um, I can see the um, all the details for it over here, the azimuth and the altitude. This is at five degrees. Um, I live by the ocean, so I could theoretically get somewhere to see it just as the sun setting. Uh, but you can see that it is very, very close to the sun here in the northern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere has a little bit more luck with it. But if you have Stellarium set up for your location, you can go in and you can start to see where it is. We can go forward through the days and see the movement of it here. So I'm looking right now in the evening sky. Um, so you can start to kind of see like, where is it? Um, is it setting? Is it rising? Um, what's the likelihood of being able to image it. Right now there have been people who have been able to image it during the day. It's certainly something that can be useful uh, and fun to just go out and look at and if you have binoculars um, and the like. So that's it. That's how you can go and find the, uh, find the comet and I hope that you have some fun 
getting out and seeing it. And remember that you can also use this process for any other comet. You just have to know the name of it. So here you can see it's C forward slash 2024 G3. You'll be able to find that whenever there's some a new comet that comes out, you'll be able to find that name. The process I just took you through, exact same process, change the name um, and you'll be able to find it. Okay, happy hunting.